So they are both a 3,200 cost item, right? Everyone knows this. They realistically have like kind of the same build path except for Blasting One, Fiendish, whatever. So here's the thing. When you go Night Harvester, when you go Night Harvester, you have 90 AP, 25 ability haste, 300 health, okay? When you go Rocket Belt, you're losing 10 ability haste, you're losing 50 health, okay? Not bad. You're not losing too much. But the thing is, you don't need ability haste. When you're playing a champion like a Kali or a champion like a Ka uh, like Katarina, you don't need ability haste. A lot of the time for any AP champion in the game that's building uh, an AP mythic, you don't need ability haste. Echo Jungle, Rocket Belt's always a better option. Nidalee, Elise, Rumble, always Rocket Belt better option, dude. The reason for that is the magic pen you get, okay? So not only, um, if I look at the mythic passives here real quick, we can kind of compare them and give you a good idea. So Night Harvester, when you... It's a 40 second cooldown, or 30 second actually, they nerfed it, or buffed it, I mean. 30 second cooldown, 125 base damage with a 15% AP ratio, and grants you 25% movement speed for one and a half seconds after you damage someone, right? So yeah, cooldown of 30 seconds per champion. You get 25% bonus movement speed for very low damage as well, increase. And the mythic passive is 5 ability haste. Now you go to Rocket Belt. Rocket Belt. Sure, you lose 10 ability haste, you lose 50 health, but you get 6 flat pen upon building the item after that the damage is basically the same too okay except you get a dash now you get a dash as well the same damage same ap ratio and everything you get 30 percent bonus movement speed going towards people that you hit or uh just going towards people it's a 40 second cooldown but you also get five m pen per legendary item that you have in your inventory so in conclusion you always have more damage when you're going rocket belt 